Hi, this is Edie from Virtually In Sync, and I just wanted to give you a quick tip video. I was speaking with another VA that's in my mastermind group the other day, and she had a question in reference to a video that she had recently uploaded for a client of hers. The three choices that YouTube automatically selected from within her video as thumbnails were not really good choices for her. I believe a couple of them were blurried and maybe one she just didn't like for whatever reason. And what she didn't realize was that she actually had the ability to create her own thumbnail image for her video. Assuming that you have already uploaded your video, I am now under the category of video manager. So I just want to walk back and, and show you. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that you've already uploaded a video. You select the video that you want to create a new thumbnail for and you go into the edit button or you select the edit button. Once you're in there you will see that you have a button here that says custom thumbnail. Also note that underneath it it says the maximum file size is 2 megabytes and it suggests that the image size be 1280 by 720 and that it has to be in the format of a JPEG, GIF, BMP or PNG file. Once you've figured that out, that you, that's where you can go, the easiest, simplest way is to create a thumbnail from within the context of your video. So let's just say I'm going to play this really quickly just for the sake of it. Just assume for a moment that this is full screen. Let's say that's the uh, image that I wanted to, to select. Again, I would not do it from within YouTube. I would go to your original file, play it with QuickTime or what have you because you're going to be able to uh, open up that image a lot larger. If you have Windows 7, you can go down to your Start menu and select your Snipping tool. From within that, you can take the crosshairs and select exactly what image you want to choose. Again, this image for this purpose is just an example. You need to do it from within QuickTime or Movie uh, Player, Media Player, because it will allow you to clip a larger image. Once you save it, the image automatically is saved as a JPEG, so that solves any additional processes that you may have to go through. Once you've done that and you've saved it to your desktop or wherever, you can then click Custom Thumbnail, find it wherever it is, mine happens to be on my desktop, and upload it onto YouTube. Now, once the image appears, that automatically becomes your set thumbnail. You don't need to do anything else. If for whatever reason you look at it and you say, well, that's not really exactly what I wanted to do, then you can always click on this to change it and again it will direct you to your desktop. Once you've done that, you then come up here and you select Save Changes. You'll see that it's saying that it's still saving. Once it actually has saved, you can then click back to your video manager and you will see now that the new thumbnail that you've selected has been chosen. You don't have to only select an image from within the contents of your video. A good example is a client that I created a video for from content that she had provided me, but I didn't like the three automatic thumbnails that YouTube chose from within the video, nor did I like anything else that was within the video to choose as an example of the thumbnail. She happened to have a PowerPoint presentation that was shown to the audience that she was speaking to, but not to the viewing audience for the video recording. So I just took a still from that PowerPoint presentation and brought it into YouTube, and that became her still for her thumbnail. So that's just a couple quick ways that you can create custom thumbnails within YouTube. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you later. This has been Edie from Virtually In Sync. Take care.